Welcome back everybody to part 3 of Final Fantasy 7 with Grim Reaper Gaming. I'm gonna try and crank these things out. Uh, we have uh, made our way back and got on the train and we are now finally about to go back home base uh, for Avalanche. And let's pick up where we left off. Sweetheart! I'm glad you're home! Don't worry, I'm fine. Oh, you're alive. Goodness. I knew it couldn't be that bad. No way. Uh, it's really bad. Hot damn, we are good! Yes! Bombs detonated one, members lost zero. And one step closer to a brighter future. Hell yeah! Guys! Lower your voices, huh? People are listening. Oh, die. Right. Ah. Hmm. Now get some R&R. &R. You've earned it. Just be ready for the next mission, all right? Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> See you soon. Uh. At Seventh Heaven. You know, where Tifa works? Don't keep her waiting. She'll worry. All right, here we are back home in the slums. Cannot walk in there. Are you sure? Oh, yeah. Yeah, this is just so amazing seeing. Oh, there we go. Look at that. So where we were was actually above on the plate and blew up a reactor. But this is where uh, the slums are underneath the plate. So you can't even see the damn sun most of the time. Seeing this fully flushed out after so many years, this is just beautiful. I feel like it's been forever since I've eaten at one of these. Well, then you can fall in love with Fried Marsh all over again. I was pulling some OT when it happened. I've never felt the ground shake like that. Ah, yeah, well, come to California. You'll feel the ground shake every once in a while. A giant candle light Sector up the eight was a nightmare. Fires everywhere. Huh. Mako is the lifeblood of the planet? Yeah, the hell it is. Goddamn eco warriors with their dumbass posters. I tear them down and they're back up inside of an hour. Like I've got nothing better to do. I mean, look at all that steelwork. You trying to tell me that's not progress? <laughs> <laughs> Chipping balls what again. The, you okay, buddy? <sighs> Mako junkie, huh? Figures. Mako junkie. The Dementors. You again. How'd they know I escaped Azkaban? You there? Go oh, fuck yourself, buddy. Okay. I've got some slumming to do in the slums. Perhaps get a nice drink at a bar. Ah, uh, home slum home. Sector 7. The slums. 7th Heaven. That was a show on the WB or something, wasn't it? Oh, there she is. <gasps> Marlene. <laughs> Daddy, you're home. That's right, Angel. I Welcome am. back. <laughs> Have you been a good girl? Yeah, I've been helping <laughs> Tifa. Oh, you did, did you? Well, well. <laughs> you made it. <laughs> Where'd you get that? I can't remember the last time I saw a real one. Huh? <sighs> How sweet. When did you get so thoughtful? A guy can change. It has been five years. The yellow flower huh? lost. I need to talk to Barrett. Right. Come on in. 
Daddy, the Mako place blew up. Everyone on TV is talking about it. Don't you worry about all that silliness. Daddy's here and he's not going anywhere tonight. Now turn that thing off and let's get you to bed, huh? Do you mind keeping Marlene company until I'm done with this? Me? Yeah, you. The administration has assured assurances that they are doing everything in their power to provide aid. Uh. Hey! Uh, what the hell do you think you're doing scaring my daughter like that? Daddy says never talk to strangers. <laughs> That's right, honey. I do say that. What a good girl you are remembering daddy's lessons. <laughs> You know what else good girls do? They go to bed on time. Come on. But I'm not tired. I want to talk some more, Daddy. Mm, all right, but just this once. <sighs> uh, so then, what can I get you? My money. I'm still waiting on it. Uh, right. About that, we should talk outside. Don't you tell me there's no money. Um, Daddy, did the people who died all return to the planet? Of course. One of the hottest enemy girls ever made. Before we get on to money, there's an empty apartment in a place just down the road. It's nothing fancy, but I was thinking you could stay there for now. The landlady's a big friend of the cause, so you wouldn't even have to pay rent. Sound good? Sure does. Thanks. <laughs> Follow me then. How was it up on the plate? It was chaotic. Sorry for dragging you into wow, all this. It was, it was wrong crazy. of me to put you in danger I like that. that on the news. I promise Don't I won't do it again. Dangerous part of the job. About. Don't worry about me. <laughs> I'll try not to. Always happy to help stick it to Shinra. <laughs> Not good at all. I don't know what it is. Can I just so, get paid? make nice with everyone? Much as I could, all things considered. Maybe not enough for them. Good. You had me worried. You're not exactly a people person. I'll give you that. I want my money. My two dollars. I want my two dollars. I saw Sector 8 on the news. It was like a war zone. The news is just another Shinra mouthpiece. They'll spread whatever lies Shinra to tells them to. to us. So, how will this affect us? It wasn't that bad? It was. Oh, right. And here we are, good old Stargazer Heights. You're on the second floor. Room 201 here is where I sleep. Don't have time for much else, what with Seventh Heaven and all. <laughs> Not even time to decorate. So I'm right next door to you, huh, girl? Here's your room, 202. Don't worry, I already told the landlady about you. You did? Yes? Is that a question oh, or an answer? I mean, I told her I had a friend looking for a place to stay. Was that too much? No. It's fine. And this? That one's, uh... Know what? It's getting late. I'll introduce you tomorrow. Can you introduce me to my payment right now? I'd like money. Put that door texture. It's a little bare, but should be enough to get you through the night. If you want anything else, we can always there get it. There is one thing. My money. You guys owe me 2,000, remember? I do. And we'd love to settle up, especially since this was your first job for us, but... That's it? Sorry. We spent the rest preparing for the mission. That really is it. But not for long. I'm collecting money for filters tomorrow, so I can pay you after. <sighs> and you're sure about that? Of course. As long as you help, that is. Wait. Then I'd have to pay you for that, too. Never mind. No. Two thousand's enough. That's what we agreed on, so that'll be the price. With what you gave me, that leaves 1500 You're the best. I'll see you bright and early at the bar, then. 
Thanks again for everything. Sleep tight. <sighs> 500 bucks. Seems a little light. We get free drinks at the bar? It's time for introductions. The hell? Hey, you okay in there? Oh. Coming in. But he's not a bad guy. The landlady asked me to check on him now and then to make sure he's okay. Can I ask you to do the same? Sure. <sighs> Want me to check in on him after you just caught me trying to chop him in half? It's a great idea, Tifa. Great idea. <clears throat> I was going to say the sword looked really thin, but it was just the angle that we were looking at it from. Okay. What's next on the menu? I'm guessing this is where things are going to slow down a little bit as opposed to um, talking about the chapter progression. We're probably going to open things up here a bit and get into side missions. So we're not going to be going through chapter one, two, three, four, five, you know, rapidly. Am I supposed to check on this guy again? No. I wouldn't either. Chest. Well now, you must be Cloud. I'm Marl, your landlady. So how'd you like the place? You from up on high? I've been around. I'll bet. No matter. All kinds come through with all kinds of reasons. If you ever need an ear to bend, I'll lend you mine. Can be about anything. Even Tifa. What's she to you? The granddaughter I never had. And if you hurt her, I'll take it out of your hide. You hear me? Loud and clear. Good. Now you'd best get a move on to Seventh Heaven. She's got a head start on you and then some. Her voice sounds so familiar like the... Like the granny from Meet the Crudes. In and I met this incredible girl. The woman of my dreams. I don't know how much I spent on her. But I'll tell her. You were in Seventh Heaven regular? You don't look the type. Hey man, check it out. This song's pretty sweet, ain't it? You like it? You feeling it? Have a copy. It popped a chocobo. <laughs> huh? Hope he's okay. In we go to the bar. Eggs and chips. Morning. Hey. Just so you know, Marlene's still asleep. <sighs> Let's get down to business, shall we? Huh? These water filters won't replace themselves. <clears throat> Although the next batch probably could, if Jessie put her mind to it. Most every home in the area has one. 
Folks love them because they practically eliminate the rotten egg smell. Honestly, they make us more money than this place. And it's easy money, too. We bring new filters, collect the old ones, and get paid. What? <sighs> Give me a break. I'm not a salesman. I'm a soldier. Which is why no one will refuse to pay. What do you say? <sighs> Please? <sighs> Let's get this over with. Great. And while we're at it, I'll give you the grand tour. So now we're going to go shake down some fools? Go ahead and keep whatever we collect. Seven, seven Seeing seven as tonight. you didn't bring any luggage, I'm guessing there's stuff you need to buy. Yes. Thanks. To murder don't with. Worry. We'll pay you the difference after. Everyone's worried Ferret's out making his rounds don't too. Take your eyes as long off as it. I get it all today. Hey there. Here to change out your water filter. Tifa, baby, how you doing? Been waiting for you to... Wait, who's he? Cloud's in charge of collections. He'll take your money. Sounds like a pretty sweet gig. If you ever need someone to fill in, I'm your man. In your dreams, maybe. Huh? Cloud! Uh, since we're here, maybe we should do a little shopping. Suppose I could take a look? Thanks. If you're ever in the market for anything else, drop on by. Especially if Teeth is with you. We'll see you around, okay? And let us know when your filter next needs changing. All the items you can want straight from the plate. He's a regular. Stock up here and he might throw in a freebie or two. For you, maybe. Well, you could try being a little nicer. To get free shit? Not my stuff. <laughs> Our next stop is Stargazer Heights. Landlady's a client. Just met her. Then you know what to expect. Remember, she's a good friend of Avalanche, so be nice. Please. Just a minute. Hey, Marl. Got some filters for you. Tifa! My dear, dear girl! Oh, what's he doing here? Working? Be nice. <laughs> Cloud's helping me with collections. You better take care of her. I'm pretty good at taking care of myself, you know. That I do. Still, better him than you. No charm, no wit, big sword, but no skills. I've got skills. Be nice. I'm doing my best. Not being mean. You're looking awfully glum. Are you getting enough sleep? A good long rest will cure anything, I tell you. A tried and true lesson for life on the ground floor. Am I right? That you are. Now, your money. Thanks, Marl. You take care of yourself. Don't do anything I wouldn't do. Okay. 200 bucks. Marl's great. A filter. She helped get me set up back in the day. You been here a while now? Five years, give or take. But never mind that. We've got to get you your money. Last stop is the weapon store. Wait, so you're telling me three spots? That's only 600, girl. Hey, if it isn't Tifa. You here for the filter? Huh? Hey! That last filter didn't do shit! We're so sorry about that. Hopefully this one will work better. Save your excuses and get out! All right. If you could just settle your bill, we'll be on our way. The hell? You charging me for your busted-ass goods? My associate handles payment disputes. Think you can mosey up in here and have it your way? Pretty please. <laughs> Thank you very much. That was it? Seeing as we're done with our rounds and you've got a small fortune now, why not take a gander at the weapons? Well, Pretty please? When will Barrett be back with the rest? <sighs> Before we open up tonight. It'll be a while yet, so... What do you want to do? Don't really know. In that case, I've got a suggestion. Want to hear it? If you're serious about becoming a merc, then you're going to need to start making connections. It's not what you know, but who you know, you know? You know? Hmm. 
Another yep. lesson for life on the ground floor. Yep. Connections get you jobs. Jobs build your rep. And more rep gets you better connections. How do I start? Hmm. Why not help out the neighborhood watch? They're mostly volunteers, but you'll get to know people. Yeah, okay. Didn't see anybody at the office, so let's head up top. But you just said I could shop here. I wonder. Think there's what? any way they can make our guns huh? lighter? I ain't got nothing for a punk ass bitch like you. Get on out of here. Huh? I ain't got nothing for a punk ass. No better ass way to keep like you and your family safe than with a weapon of your own. Come and check out our selection. Speak with our friendly staff to find the perfect weapon for you and your needs. I just tried to, and you called me a punk ass bitch. Said he's got nothing for me. Hey. I wonder. I just spoke with your associate over there, and he says I can talk to you. Huh? All right. I guess you don't want to make any money. You and your family safe. And with a weapon Go find Tifa. Come and check out our selection. Huh? Didn't know you were holding down the fort. Huh? Oh, uh, hey, Cloud. Looking to join the neighborhood watch? That depends. What does this neighborhood watch do? Uh, lots of stuff, really. But our top priority is taking care of any beasts that wander into town. That, and teaching the locals how to defend themselves. Like they say, the only one who will look out for you is you. Cloud's a great fighter, but only we know that. If no one knows him, no one will hire him. Thought if he joined the watch, he could get his name out there. That would work for everybody. Truth be told, we could really use your help. We can't pay you in kill, but we'll work something out. For example, aha, what about your sword? I could mod it for you. No thanks. It's fine just the way it is. What, you some kind of purist? I know I'd never pass up a chance to improve my gear. Come on. At least let me show you how it's done. <laughs> Come on. All set? Needless to say, you'll have to try it out to appreciate the difference. Thanks. <laughs> we'll do you one better. Spread the word to everyone who'll listen about the new Merc in town. Between him and Wedge, there isn't anyone they don't know. I'll march through the streets singing your praises, even on an empty stomach. So, where are these monsters? Scrap Boulevard. Good hunting. Hey, Cloud, I'll come with. No, I've got this. But you don't know the way, do you? Lead on. <laughs> sure thing. I know these streets better than anyone. I just told her to lead on, yet I'm the one walking around here. Guess if we go down here. Tifa, aren't you supposed to be showing me the ropes? Because no one knows the streets better than you. Past the barricades, supposed to keep the monsters out. Anyway, we should prepare, just in case. Is that who Wedge mentioned? That sword's massive. If any harm comes to her, what? 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 Say it! I'm looking at you now, bro. Come on. I don't even know what to do with this hair up in your on, face. Diva, it's so beautiful, careful. right? Here's Scrap Boulevard. I can see why monsters would feel right at home. And the more we pile up, the more they show up. Hmm? What she did well, so far was so that's what a soldier looks like in action. She got eaten. This was just a warm up. <laughs> I'll bet. Let's keep at it. Come 
Hey, how's it? Yeah. It's over. It's too late. Really? Was kicking rocks at me? You little bastard. All right. I think that might be the last of them. They won't stay gone for long. Of course not. Even so, folks will be grateful for the peace and quiet in the meantime. A win's a win, you know? True. Trust me, it'll do wonders for your rep. Yep. Right. Let's go check in with Biggs and Wedge. A job for the neighborhood watch. Killing rats in the yard. Uh. Now it works, huh? Okay. Tally of Monster Slain has been updated. Got new numbers for Monster Slain this month. Check them out. You hear someone got rid of all the monsters up Back already? Got every last one, too. Now the slum should be safe. You guys are machines. Good job. I like how you can actually Meanwhile, see the materia on them as you equip it. So I heard. I've got to ask, though. What did you tell them? It's all right. All you got to do is keep up the good work. It'll pay off soon enough, I promise. How's the sword, by the way? Good. Glad to hear it. Seems like the perfect fit for you. Yeah. We've been through a lot. Oh. You okay? I'm fine. Been meaning to ask. After you left the village... It's a long story. I've got time. Why don't you tell me all about it while we try to wrestle up some more work for you? That sounds great! I'll come too! Oh, uh, no you won't. What? Run along now, you two. Sorry, Go on. maybe uh. next time. Her? No fair! Uh, think about it for a second. They haven't seen each other in years. You'd be a third wheel. Uh, uh. Idiot! Hey, before we get back to it, why don't you check out the weapons? No need. Come on, the dealer's probably heard all about you by now. Might treat you better. I don't know about that. All right, well, let's go. You hear someone got rid of all the monsters on Strap Boulevard? Oh, you know, there's a hole. That's that mercenary guy. Doesn't look that strong. Hold up. Heard there's a merc that'll take on any monster. You the man? Oh, yeah, the punk ass little bitch, remember? What if I am? Sorry about before. I get antsy when business is slow. Ugh. Man in your line of work needs weapons, no? Why not try that one on for size? Yours on the house. Badass like you rocking my weapons is good advertising. Think about it. Fine. Or if you want to take a look at something else. Just a look. Since you've got yourself a new weapon, let's see if we can't put it to good use. Come on. Let's go chat up Weimer. Who? The guy who tracks all the requests that come to the watch. You never know. Could toss some work your way. Where's he at? Oh, he should be back at the office by now. Okay. Uh, hey, you just opened up Ellie, shop in the area, didn't you? Searching for candidates. Oh, hey there, Chiva. You need a helping hand? Actually, I wanted to introduce you to an old friend of mine. This is Cloud. He's a merc. Ah, uh, you don't say. Well, we're always on the lookout for experienced fighters to help us deal with the bigger critters. I'll take on anything. For the right price, that is. Experienced and cocky, huh? If it's a challenge you want, I might have a few good ones. Your clients can fill you in on the details. Prove yourself with these jobs, and I'll see if I can't find you some more. Thanks. Candidate detected. Performing physical analysis. Sizable weapon. Excellent cardiovascular health and impressive lung capacity. Perfectly balanced muscle and bone structure. An optimal candidate. My name is Chadley. I'm an intern for Shinra's Research and Development Division. I hope you'll be interested in helping me with my research. Please accept this as a down payment. I would like you to set that assessed materia in your equipment and use it to gather intelligence in battle. 
This data will help me to develop new types of materia. I'm not interested in working for Shinra. You should know that I work actively to undermine Shinra's efforts. I'm sure you of all people can appreciate the tremendous power of materia, as well as how it might be wielded against your corporate enemies. And if you later decide that I am not worthy of your trust, you can do what you do best. I will hold you to that. Excellent! Then we shall work together so long as you deem fit. The hell? Once you've completed your task, please return and report to me. Okay, so this guy works for Shinra, but actively works against them? Terrorist group called Avalanche. Huh? Someone's back awful early. Not that I mind. Would you two be dears and swap your filters out for me? I left them in your rooms. Sure thing. Not so fast, you. Do me a favor. She needs a friend. A real friend. Uh, we're already friends. So when she talks, are you really listening? Thinking about her and her feelings? <sighs> or are you just going through the motions? Go on. Okay, fluffy haired lady. Da -da 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 -la. Let's take care of this real quick, okay? Sure. Come over when you're done. I don't get why some of these textures are like, look at this. Look at this pillar. Look at my character. Okay, door, door, door. Looks good. Look at this door. Look, look at the bottom kick plate. What the hell is going on? Don't know. But we're changing a filter. Change the filter, <laughs> just like in real life. Give me one sec. I'll be done in a bit. Ah, <sighs> finally. So, after you left the village, hmm? I let you off the hook before, back at the hall, but not this time. Uh. Uh. Hmm? Well, when we were kids, everybody wanted to be a soldier, right? Yeah, I remember they were on the news every day during the war. Thing is... By the time I finally made it in, they didn't need heroes anymore. It was nothing like what we dreamt of. It was just working for Shinra. Just... I'm sorry. I know it's a touchy subject. Oh. Not exactly small talk. Especially with someone you haven't seen in a while. I get it. Still, it's kind of funny. Us going our separate ways, thinking that must be it. That we'd never meet again. And then here of all places we do. You know what? We should totally celebrate. Let's dress up and hit the town. Dress up? Really? I've got one pair of clothes. I mean, this is it. why not? It'll be fun. Do you even have fancy clothes? Not like fancy fancy, but I'll figure something out. What do you think would suit me, huh?
Exotic? Something refined. Yeah, I guess we're not kids anymore. Be sure to pick an outfit that goes with mine, okay? <laughs> Will do. <laughs> this is gonna be so much fun. You'll see. Toad. Yeah. Maybe. <laughs> and on that happy note, I think it's time we head back to the bar. Come on. Uh, you don't need a break? Honestly, I'm feeling pretty good. Marl isn't always right, you know. Alright, let's go. To the bar! Hey, didn't she say she was gonna make me a drink? And I never got this drink. Hey, Marl. We took care of the filters. So, we're gonna head back to the bar now. Take care, you two. Oh, you're looking pretty chipper. Uh, I don't feel that different. Must be my imagination, then. <laughs> anyway, keep your wits about you, Merc. A token of my appreciation. Be good to her. A crescent moon charm obtained. Okay. Well, you want to head inside? There we go. We're back. Did you have fun? <laughs> Lots of fun. Hey, need y'all downstairs. Uh, right now? Then the plan is... Marlene, want to go wait for Jesse out front? Okay. Looks like we're officially on for tomorrow night, then. Gotta go over the details with the others. Before you do, about my pay- You'll get your money. So sit down and shut up until we're finished. Double time, Tifa. <laughs> All sevens. I think that was Tifa's uh, in the original game. There were numbers. I'm really sorry. We got all seven. But it shouldn't take would, uh, much longer. In the meantime, do an attack that would do massive damage. <gasps> Grab a seat. What'll it be? I don't know. Something hard and bitter. <laughs> I mean, it looks like urine. I guess that'd be hard and <laughs> bitter well, some urine. Most people would say something sweet right about now. I'm sure they would. Ah, uh, but you're a more discerning customer, aren't you? In which case. You didn't even pour anything in there. How'd you make blood? Our house special. The Cosmo Canyon. <gasps> Red 13. Beautiful. <laughs> I gotta go. <sighs> Enjoy. Oh, like that. Red like blood. Her. Hey, you see the news? The reactor bombing was the work of the eco-extremist group Avalanche. Public enemy number one. Gets your heart racing, doesn't it? They don't know our faces, so we're in the clear for now. But we'll want to capitalize on this momentum. Speaking of which, you coming on the next one? For the right price. Oh, you can bet I'll be pushing hard for a raise. <sighs> Tifa will be joining us too, but I don't know. Even a blind man can see her heart's not in it. She was never on board with the bombings, 
So if it comes down to do or die, if I've got to put my life in someone else's hands, then I'd rather that someone was a professional, like you. Could still kill some time. They haven't finished the drink, huh? Why would you sit way over there? I heard you're having second thoughts. I know we have to think big if we're going to make a difference. But not like this. I just... I feel trapped. If it feels wrong, don't do it. I gotta get this soundtrack ASAP. Guess that's that then. What, they kick you out? We agreed to disagree. So, you want another drink? Tifa! Time to celebrate. Break out all the good stuff. Oh, sure. We won't be needing you for this next job. Feel free to look for work elsewhere. Fine by me. That's how I like it. No contract, no obligation. Figured you'd say that. Here, the rest of your payment, along with a little extra for your exemplary service. And thus concludes our business. Gonna have to ask you to leave now. This here's a private affair. Sorry, I tried. We talked it over, but in the end, we didn't want to put so much on you. This is our fight. Jesse, what's the holdup? Uh, be right there. No hard feelings, huh? I got my money. It's fine. Let's talk more after I'm done here, okay? Really, it's fine. Come on, Jesse, I'm dying here. I'll catch you later. <sighs> Sorry to keep you thirsty boys waiting. <laughs> thirsty back then means something I'm thirsty away! before the <laughs> Blood, blood, blood. <sighs> that hit the spot. Damn, Biggs. Slow down. <laughs> keep it tight. Ain't no room for air come tomorrow. More reason to live it up now. Yep. What's up with them? We'll find them soon enough. Man, seems like the boss always gives us the most shit-tastic assignments. All right, seems like a good place to end. We're gonna save it right here. Thank you for watching. Like, subscribe. We'll try and get another one out pretty quickly. There we go. See you in the next one.